Play select glucometer from Costless Ventures. Safi ye kitu ya eti mimpo e show boto me e bwa maunhunu u sugar level a bribia. Wana uwa diabetes anayaria hodwa e ma u sugar level. Eso te wa brano brano no. Safi ye pe po unka ye baby pia u obia no wata wonswa ku hu doctor and tem. No wa mwa dry biti mi ama blood sugar no aye pepe pepe. With green select blood glucose monitoring system, you get your test results in 5 seconds. And you 5 seconds pe now results are ready. And it's suitable for persons of all age. Nani bwa so dear? Mmm, at the fuck? I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to get out of here. Call Ventures now. 0205-915-315. Oh, Green Select Glucometer. The best. This advert has been inverted and approved by the FDA. So what's the UK average man? Now when you're going to get out of here, you're going to get out of here. And now you're going to get out of here. And now you're going to get out of here. Right claim bet me a boa wama waji si kan pin pin be brei Ya wo yuke a lawyer fu weti tru anase e kuku dam fo A wo mbe timi a boa wo a pin yu kwa ma wo Kwa si se wo si kan ove ba E nwa ane se wo be kwa www.rightclaims.co.uk Na wo fele wo form Wo be timi a frey yen wo na be ya e wo fi ye ya si Se ya cancel wo flight Anase wo nyan flight delay fo wo don shre mi yen sa May try three hours and cover the air. Right claims with me a boa ma a hansu wa jisika. Right claims, it's as simple as that. All right, so we are about to do what we call the real talk here on Samiflex TV, and I have gotten this friend of mine. I met him some years ago when he came to Ghana. He started his music career from Nigeria, and he came to Ghana to continue. Um, after so many years, we have reconnected, and today on the show, we are about to find out what he has been doing and what really is going down with him. I knew him to have a different name some years back, but today it tells me the name has changed well as to what caused the name to change we will surely find out welcome to the real talk here on Samiflex TV remember that this is where we talk realities on the entertainment space and more subscribe to our channel if you've not done that because we have more for you special thanks to the guitar rasta currency which flex and your lucky g for producing this particular content going straight to my man let's have a vibe yes uh, yes yo be called m factor yes yeah, we're back in time because he's a nigerian brother he's an m factor <laughs> yeah m factor or m factor all joint yeah, yes, yeah, I know what it is. But now I met you, they are telling me you've changed the name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The name will change you. you know, level, what, what happened? What level, happened? level don't change. Level, why, level why, change. why did you change the name? What really happened? All right. Uh, M Factor was basically, you know, a rapper. And uh, over the years, the level of my talent and my expertise have actually, you know, you know, become very wide. I present like like not just radio present, I do bits of TV presentation. Mm -hmm. I now sing mm -hmm. and added to the rap and also some life experiences actually mm. made me to actually want to, you know, evolve. Because mm. you cannot be in one place forever, you understand? Okay. Okay. So uh, the life experiences per se was that um, I discovered that I am a very good person at heart, okay. you understand? And I discovered that sometimes the weak and the kind at heart they get preyed upon by anybody who seem to understand that this is how you are so sometimes you have to relate you have to focus on life in the realistic part you mm -hmm. understand mm -hmm. if it's working for you it's working for you if it's not working for you you let it go don't play to people's emotion don't try to maybe beg or try to do things to make people happy. people will see you for what you are mm -hmm. for all, for what they think you are mm -hmm. so it's best to just be who you are. Who accepts you, accepts you. Who doesn't accept you, doesn't accept you. Mm. So that's how Fiki became Fiki Badman. So now the name is what? Fiki Badman. Bad yeah. And uh, how do you spell it? F I W K Y B A D D M A N. Mm. Yeah. First, when it was M Factor, what was the meaning of the M? Uh, when it was M Factor, you see, my life used to revolve around the letter M. Mm -hmm. My name is Marvelous. Mm -hmm. I study microbiology. Mm -hmm. I love my mom. I used to do music. There are so many things. And if you add all the, <laughs> numerologically, you add all the numbers in uh, the word Marvelous, mm -hmm. you get 13. And uh -huh. that is M. And my group back then was Zodiac 13. Uh -huh. So it's kind of like just 
flow with it. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Um, I I'm not too sure which year I met you though, but that was my days. Um, that my days at Plaza FM. That Plaza was when FM. I met you. I should, How many years have you been in Ghana so far? More like six, seven years now. Like six, seven, seven years. years. Yes. Have you gone back to Nigeria for some years before you came back, or it has been Ghana agenda? Oh ever since? yes, I went to Nigeria once in 2016. I was trying to actually promote the music on a more global scale, mm -hmm. and it didn't quite work out. Mm -hmm. It failed on a massive scale. You understand? Mm -hmm. It was mm -hmm. one of the among all the worst years of my life. I I, I virtually like lost everything. Okay. Uh, and my that team. Was in 2016. Yeah, and my yeah. team was not with me, so I had to, I had to go back to base. Like here, yeah, it's more like a very good base for me. I have people who I know around, so I had to come back in. It's been good ever since. Mm, I see. Uh, so I know being in Ghana, you have been in the music space. You've reconnected to some of the industry people. Sure, sure. Uh, did you ever work with any label within the six years or more that you've been here? No, uh, personally, I've not actually worked with a label before. Mm -hmm. Okay, I won the Peak Talent Show in 2011 in Nigeria. It was a big show. It was worth more like 10 million naira. That's more like uh, over, more like, oh, over so like you 12. You are a talent show winner here. Yeah, in in, in, in Nigeria. In Nigeria, yeah, I get it. So, uh, what, what was it called? So that those Peak Talent Show. Peak. Peak, Peak Talent Show. Yeah, it was won by Yemi Alade. The first edition won by Yemi Alade. Oh, the okay. second was won by Kida Kuds, and the third and the final edition was won by me. Mm. You know, after that, you, there hasn't been any. Yeah. So after I won it, Omo um, Yawa Bosu, you understand? The people that they put to actually manage the funds, they actually made away with. Uh -huh. With the prize money, so, so you did not get your money. No, I only got two million in cash. You, you were supposed to be giving ten million naira. It's supposed to be a two million. They, when they when they do the advert, they tell you ten million naira. But later they change to ten million naira package. Okay, possibly uh, we didn't hear it correctly. Okay. So it was two million yeah, cash okay. and the eight million yeah, be the package. Promotion but that package never came. That package not come. We don't see the package. Mm. See the package, we don't see. Mm. So you see, we don't see. Her. <laughs> so we had to move on you understand mm. so personally i have not actually like worked with any label before i've been more like a lone ranger mm. doing my things or gather a team so mm. we can actually work together okay. that's been my story ever since mm. i see i knew you to be a rapper that was when you were called m factor yeah and now you are telling me uh Fiki bad man it's a new brand doing this and that. And does, does everything. It mean, does it mean you are not rapping like you used to be? It means I'm still the rap devil. And when it comes to singing, yeah, I still got it. Let me feel you rap. Let me feel you rap. <laughs> uh, let me feel you rap. Mm -hmm. Yo, all right, all right. He wants to feel me rap. I know. Yo, I've been waiting for my shine day. Chris Yelta with the grind day. Mama told me that the rhymes pay. Put the lyrics into round page. 20 million for the fan page. People screaming from the backstage. We were chilling like the ice age, but we steady moving like the jet age. People told me I was outrageous. Getting money now is contagious. Medically, I'm infectious. No connection with my intentions. So much broken, I could bomb pages. So much money, I could pay wages. Flirtatious, tentatious. Money talks, so I'm loquacious. <laughs> <laughs> And back to That's you. What it is. <laughs> now he's Fiki Bad, bad man. You guys have to know that. Yeah, I yeah. See, so now that you are doing this and that, at what point did you bring in the singing part of you? All right. If I look back in time, I used to do a bit of singing, but the rap actually took control. Mm -hmm. And soon I discovered I couldn't quite get my voice to actually sing. I, but I was trying to get it back. Actually started getting bits of it mm -hmm. uh, years back and okay fine before the singing started okay before the whole Fiki Badman thing started I, I put music down for a while and I was just trying to you know get on TV I was trying to get on TV uh, then the TVs they were messing up at that time they couldn't get on any TV station at that you particular were time to get on TV as a TV presenter. presenter yeah okay so I opened up my page mm -hmm. my Facebook page mm -hmm. and I said if if they can't put me on TV I'll put myself on you yeah. understand okay. so I opened XY planet mm -hmm. and I started blogging from there I started presenting from you were there doing all this in Ghana yes yeah I was blogging I was presenting I was actually a uh, interviewing artist I interviewed a, a large range of I, I the episode, Luta, 
there, there are so many. There's so many. I, a lot talk. Be I interview a lot of them. Wow. So it's during the interviewing sessions, getting freestyles from people. That's where uh, the brand X Freestyle was born. So we now go around different localities trying to get people to be seen and heard. So while doing this and try, trying to help this artist to actually, you know, perform better on the microphone, I found myself singing. I found mm -hmm. myself singing to try and, you know, get them to be interested to do them. So with that, he began to discover that I can actually Sing. do this, yeah. Mm -hmm. So and I, I had my own studio at the time. So I got in and the producer was very helpful at the time. And I could see that what, what, I was, what was coming up was very nice. And with that, I built my confidence. And now I am not scared of singing because I get into the booth. And even if I could actually do the, the fear would just That's kill the vibe. Mm, but okay. now, mm. if, I, if I can sing anyway, come on. I want to hear you sing too. <laughs> hey, all right. Yeah, I want to hear you sing. All right. Mm -hmm. Girl, just stop putting there your mind. All right. I swear I'm not going to lie, yo. Baby, I could love you, die. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know I come here just to waste your time. Mm -hmm. I, I swear I'm not gonna lie. Baby, I do love you, die. Mm -hmm. Say, it be you and me. Ain't nobody else I see. The way you move, the way you are, they make I feel. I, it be you and me. Ain't nobody else I see. The way you move, the way you are, they make I feel. So, so baby, just come while I'm colo. Me love the way you dance and colo. Hey, mm. you didn't make my head a colo. Oh, baby, just come while I'm colo. Hey, mm. oh, baby, just come while I'm colo. Mm -hmm. You make way you the dance and colo. Hey, you didn't make my head a colo. Oh, baby, just come while I'm colo. Your love is unconditional, unconditional. Where you are, the way you move, baby. Love is gay, my day, no cause problem. Freaking mad, man. Yes, oh, yes, yeah. yes. You, you got, you got your note right. Yeah. You were hitting it like a pro. Yeah, yeah with a try, with a try. We not be, you know, silly Dion or those guys no, singing. No, sing, sing, singing is about hitting your note. Note right. right, you if understand? You're able to hit your note right. I'm sure that is all. All you, you need, need to, to do. do, yeah. So now in our music industry, after six years. Have you really connected with our industry? Are you known? Because yes, I might not be seeing much of a freaky bad man here and there. Okay. Um, yeah. Have you really connected with the industry? Uh, is the industry aware of the presence of this particular brand, freaky bad man? All right, all right. Uh, that that question really really touches a, uh, quite a lot of you know nerves, nerves around there. Mm. Now the industry is it's quite confusing okay uh i really want to get into the industry through uh the tv presenting it's been good the face is being sold out you understand the people know that there's no place that i go to that people do not know me mm. you understand although i would expect more you understand but possibly i have not been doing more on my end you understand uh, the entrance into the industry has been a little bit slow and I, the, the major reason is because I've been doing basically everything on my own. Mm -hmm. You understand? I, I, I get to shoot on my own. Okay, well, I get people to shoot for me, I edit, I promote, I push, I have to do the music on my own, I have to promote on my own, I do all of the movements on my own. So that has been a bit of my problem. Although I've done a couple of songs with couple of I've done songs with Article One, I've done songs with Mr. K Day, I've done song with Fami Yeah, uh, I've done song with uh I Ice Prince of Four X Four. Fresh Prince. Fresh yeah. Prince, Fresh yeah. Prince, yeah. I've mm. done with with Four X Four. Uh I've done I've done a, a, a song with Gemini. Mm -hmm. You understand? So I've been doing but um let's say a bit of consistency, you understand. And uh maybe I've not had that uh that's maybe a managerial body or a person mm -hmm. you know actually helping me to actually put my energy in the right direction mm. yeah so th is, is that the problem that's why you think the industry is not accepting you well because you are doing everything on your own uh the industry eh, this industry eh, it could definitely accept anybody you understand as long as you're doing the right thing or as long as you are doing it safe it could definitely accept you. You understand. Mm -hmm. You just need to get your things right. There are, there are five things to make it in any industry. You need God. You need 
money you need the right packaging you need the right material and right. uh, yeah and you need the right people around you mm. you understand and the right people is key because god is key definitely you need the right song you understand but if you don't have the right you know packaging packaging okay packaging on you know, check if you don't have the right people helping you to push your stuff your money is not going to go anywhere even if you have all the money in the world and you don't have the right people around you mm -hmm. There is hardly anything that you do that is going to go far. Except you're doing it yourself. Oh, come on, me here. Maybe it will go, but having the wrong people around you can totally crash whatever you are doing. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So how did you meet all the people you've done collaborations with? You talked about doing something with Bisakede, Family, Ateko One. How did you meet all of them? All right, I met... And, and, and um, when you met them, did they do the business thing with you or it was friends? Something. All right. Uh, for uh, I met Atiko One at UTV. Eh, I remember that day. Mm -hmm. Atiko One at UTV. Eh, I remember that day. Well, I was what, so. What were you there to do? I was so. In, in, it was at no. It was at uh, Hit FM. Mm -hmm. I was so fed up that morning. <laughs> I felt I was going crazy. Trust me. The pressure of life was bearing over me so heavily, I, and I was trying to get uh, a, a a radio spot at Hit FM. So um, I was just in the bathroom thinking, should I go or not? Should I go or not? I said, damn, let me just go. And that's why I met Atiko One. Atiko One was playing with me. He didn't, he didn't take any money from me. He was nice. We talked. We vibed fine. A couple of days, we went to the studio. We did a very nice song. But during that was during the times I, I didn't actually was able to focus on music properly, so I couldn't actually you know put promote. promote the song. As for the song I did with Peter K Day, uh, I have a particular friend called Pewizo. Okay, mm -hmm. I saw his beat once online. Mm -hmm. I liked it. I did a song on it, and I sent it to him. He liked it also, and that's how we became friends. So he has been instrumental in getting both Peter K Day and Famiye for me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, how was the business connection like? Um, was it that particular one? Yes, you've, you've told me it yeah. was like this. But how with for, for Mr. Kade, it was smooth. I didn't really get to like see him. It was done. And for Famiye, it was smooth also. But I did not get to see Famiye. But I met Famiye before at UTV. Mm -hmm. We met at UTV. Yeah, we just played small, you understand, hung out. And that's how we got to it. But right about now with Famiye, actually, I'm not cool with that guy. Just uh, basically, okay. sure. We, we, we talk about why you are not cool with Fami. No, um, all the guys you've done the songs with, did they help you in promoting it? Now, uh, Bisakide's song is about to be put out. Oh, you've not released I've not that released that one yet. Okay, you understand. Uh, as for the one I've done with Fami, I have not received any form of support from Fami whatsoever. Mm. You understand. You'll be like, say, you just go and sing the song. Then, man, I don't know if the song they sound nice. Then, you just decide, say, since the song they sound nice now, then you know, okay. I won't put any um, effort. What, what is the one with Famia called? Three o'clock. Three, Three o'clock, yeah. Okay, so, um, Director Richie Flex, you can roll the uh, the video while we do our conversation because he said he is not very happy with Famia, and I don't know why he's not happy with Famia. Why, why are you not happy with Famia? I'm not happy with Famia for. for various reasons you see this this song is a nice song and has great visuals it's you know, it'll be video and be like so i carry some any other director to come you know get it done it's a good song with a nice video that we could do but uh for me i was supposed to you know appear in the video mm -hmm. and all efforts made to get him to uh, be on the video were all proved abortive i don't know who to blame but i think i, I would blame them both i blame the manager and I blame Famiye. I blame the manager in the sense that he's... First, let, let, let's go back a little bit into this discussion. Yeah. How did he get Famiye to even feature him on a song? I got him through Pewizo. Pewizo? Yeah. So Pewizo connected you to Famiye? Yes. Did you pay Famiye for the feature? I paid. How much did you pay him? I paid 2000 2000 Yeah. So did you get to talk to Famiye after Pewizo's connect? Yes. You spoke with him? I saw him. We met. We met at the studio. And I told him about in the date. Pewizio studio? Yes. Uh -huh. I went to do something else and I met him in the studio and we talked. Uh -huh. You understand? Talked about uh, when we were going to shoot the video. We were to shoot his part on, on a Sunday. Mm -hmm. I was there like on a Thursday. No, we've not got into the studio yeah. yet. So the 2000 that he checked for the feature, did you tell him from onset that this 2000 includes a video? No. The 2000 is basically 
for the song feature. Mm -hmm. We didn't say that. But definitely, I have told him about the video and he knows about it. I've told him about it personally. Because there are some artists, anytime they feature on your joints, they talk about video. We talk, we, yes, yes, yes. From the audio. Yes, when well, we discussed about the video, about the costume. And that's when the the, 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 the manager the man, the man charges for the video yes and i was ready to pay <laughs> oh so you did not even pay i was okay, ready you, to you pay i wanted to i wanted to pay okay fine sorry, uh -huh. we were making plans for the video mm -hmm. they wanted to shoot his part okay. you understand i spoke mm -hmm. to the manager about the costume and he called a particular price he said two thousand mm -hmm. i said oh it's a little bit high what they want from him is just a singlet and this thing to just sit on the bed, a single just sit on the bed. Mm -hmm. That is a little bit high. Make it try calm down. How much? Thousand. Two thousand. Two thousand. Oh. Make it try calm down. He say no. I said, oh, bro. He was I, supposed it, to it, 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 Yeah, he didn't even say any. That bed he was going to sit on it. He didn't even. Like, he, like this. Yeah. Thing? Yeah. He, yes. Uh -huh. with, with the girl behind him. He didn't quite say anything because I, I don't know why. Then he didn't quite say anything. He just because me, I was actually busy on that day. Mm -hmm. You understand? I was like, ah, the price is high. Okay, I'll call you back. So I called Pirizo and said, ah, the price where they charge me be too kill. And I saw the thing they high. He said, yes, yeah, so the song matter, you did different from the yeah, video. Yeah. So I called later and I said, oh, bro, no vex. So I don't say this thing, I saw you the high. I'm really, very sorry. How can we work this thing out? Mm -hmm. He said, okay, you don't even know is that this word, this word you use. You don't even know that if they are going to come to the video, sir. Who said he doesn't even know? The that? manager. Uh -huh. I, I, did, I, I didn't even think it was like something like really serious. So mm -hmm. you don't understand. Mm -hmm. I didn't know he was meaning something very, very mean and serious at that time. Mm -hmm. And I said, oh, it's it called. So what's the price now? He said, that's okay, make it calm down. He said, okay, they will do thousand. I said, okay, make it try even do 800 for me. And I said, man, they have a lot of things. That is on me. He said, "Okay, fine. He will do eight hundred. And then he gave me a hint inside the. He gave me. He said, um, um, uh, "I said, okay, so how do I send it?" He said, "He will tell me where I will send it later." Mm -hmm. He doesn't even know. If, that's when he said he doesn't even know when they will, they will come. come. Yeah. You understand? But he didn't quite like me, click on me. Minister to me that this is what he is meaning. You understand? Mm -hmm. After apologizing, I really begged him. I spent time begging you ah, it's not like I've, i actually did anything like wrong or, you understand mm -hmm. you understand but i begged him because okay fine i didn't really discuss with him in the first world place mm -hmm. so fine after that he told me they wanted to do their show after their show that they will come for the video and even before their show that, that was in last year december that was last year mm -hmm. even before their show after i did the song i wanted to release they begged me that i should hold on my release that they wanted to release some songs so that it does not clash with their own mm -hmm. promotion i was like fine so i held back my song and waited mm -hmm. i waited okay now come and do the video i didn't even drop the song okay i'm like okay fine let me even drop the song with the video i started waiting and calling and then that's when news of him saying that i disrespected him on that first call so i had to come and say oh bro i beg you said you disrespected, disrespected him, him. Over what? Over the bargaining that we were bargaining. The fact that you wanted to give him 800 cities. No. The fact that I said that the price was high. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. But to me, that's just a, that's just a bargain now. Mm -hmm. The fact that I said the price was high, mm -hmm. that's why he's feeling disrespected. Mm. I don't know if you're discussing price with somebody because of price. When you say they're high, they person person go vex. Mm. So, ah. Uh, the matter is, oh, I said, okay, fine. I've done this amazing job. I've spent money on it. I don't want to lose the money I spent on it. Let's try and get through to Famaya. Pirizo went to Famaya's house, gave the phone. I spoke to Famaya. I begged Famaya. I begged Famaya. He said, okay, that they're, they're going to do is give, get through to the manager. One month, two months, three months. I could not do anything. I could not release the song. I could not go anywhere. All the plans I had totally what? Crashed. I didn't even travel home to see my father for the new year. I didn't go. Because I didn't go waiting. because I was waiting. Everything crashed. Every single plan. I've done already for the video. All the plans I've made for I've made for it. Everything was what totally what destroyed. We now have to now look for a way now to now come back and make sure we can come through with this video. What a sad story. Over what? The manager knows me. 
when I met me even the day that I met Famille at UTV. So why would the person be doing this kind of thing to somebody that he knows, even after apologizing? Is it that they are feeling too proud or pompous? It's not nice. So it is not as if Famia took your money and he refused to come for the for the video shoot. No, no, no. He no, did no. not take the money at all. They didn't even take the money at all. Mm -hmm. So your your pain is the fact that he refused to, to shoot to shoot, to shoot the video. So it's I, I think can, I, can can you also blame yourself that it is because you could not meet their demand? No, why? no, no. If they have a particular demand, it should be stated. But they stated it. They, they stated it, and they, he, he, he agreed with me. He agreed with, me, he agreed with uh -huh. me with the eight hundred that I should pay, uh -huh. and I'm ready to pay. If you say you are not going to take that money, that is what you will take. You tell me. Uh -huh. There's nothing. There's nothing. There's nothing serious about that. That this is the money that we can take. If without this money, we will not be able to what come through. As simple. I pay. There are so many people that if you, if you cannot even tell it directly to me, you can tell it directly to the person that you, you that you know hooked up the collab with with me. But being silent and not doing if I call, tell me you are busy. Anytime I call, you are busy. Anytime you just hear, I know that it's my voice. You are busy. I think it's an act of wickedness. Seriously, I think it's an act of wickedness. I think it's an act of, man, we have got to a position and then we can't step on anybody. That's what I did, think. Did you know from here before the feature? Did you have any kind of friendship with him? That's what I'm saying. We've met before. But there wasn't a day friendship. Oh, we talked, we played together, we exchanged contact. I actually had Famiya's contact even before I let Pewizel to actually go out there and mm -hmm. do it for me. I could actually call him on the on the phone. But I wanted somebody that had a professional relationship with him to just what mm -hmm. handle it. Because it, sometimes it's not really cool when artists handle all this, you know, movement. Yeah. So, so that's the thing. So even when he met me, he saw me, he knows me because we met in the studio after the song. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. We vibed, you understand, uh -huh. he even came back angry because they went to do some particular deal that the deal, I don't know, the thing didn't quite work out, the person is changing, and he came back angry, uh -huh. I told him to cool down, no worry man, let's just let this matter slide. Mm. So it's not like he doesn't know me for anywhere, he actually knows me, so why, why are they doing this? So after that, you've not been able to establish contact to him anymore. Oh, obviously they call me. The man they call no, me. They, they are calling me. I don't know what they are calling me for. I don't know what they are calling that me for. That is after you released. This yeah, video. yeah. After they've been what, calling me. When did you release this video? I released it in this uh this April. This oh, April. you released it. Yeah. So uh, when they, I'm sure they've seen the video playing on TV mm. or something. Yeah, they've seen it. Uh, they are calling me uh, from 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 sources. I heard they are calling me that. Uh, why they have to release it to the public that they did not agree to come to the video? But I didn't say they didn't agree to come because you, they didn't agree to you've come. Mentioned, you've mentioned that already. My, my question, no, I'm you've asking. You mentioned that to the public already. Yeah, my question. Why, why did you say that? Oh, oh I've, I've had a couple of interviews. interviews. You oh, understand? Okay. My question, the thing I want them to do, when I want from Miami to ask my guy, eh? He should tell Ghanaians, eh? Ghanaians, why he did not appear on the video. So because they're saying that I'm trying to spoil that. I'm not trying to spoil your name. People are asking me, oh, this is your nice son, your nice video. Why is Famia not on the video? Mm -hmm. I don't know what to what, what to tell you? them. Mm -hmm. And if I want to start telling them, it's a long story. So it's better the ball is in your court. Tell them the reason why he did not appear mm -hmm. on this video. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Because to me it feels to me it feels it feels very, very harsh and more like a deliberate more like it feels more like a deliberate attempt to just take food from my mouth because i mean i would also so mm -hmm. if you're happy you need to help your brother so that you know i'll get something so who, to who eat did, who did you get to play the family part in the i had to play it myself oh i had to play it like a player <laughs> <laughs> so you did everything oh i do everything video. i do everything Another video vixen yeah with the vixen yeah i had to just do everything has family's absence in the video affected it in any way and uh, knowing that okay there is a family in the video uh, oh, people, on the song but in the video he's people are asking you know, but me i don't send you know when life gives you lemons you make lemonade you mm -hmm. understand uh, hey, when life bring green you plant crops and they will grow so me i don't care if this is not calm safe i don't even mind safe i'll keep doing what i want to do because it is not up to him it is up to god yeah one God is up to God, you understand. Mm -hmm. And regardless whether he fits not even into my video, uh, where I, where they go, I will still get there. He fits not even fine, safe if you that video. Famous face no fine. Your ugly face. But you needed him in the video. 
I want to make you. I want to help him. I want help him. I help him make you show your talent. You wanted to help him. Yeah. Yes. Are you serious? Now help him. I want help him. How? Uh-uh. <laughs> he, he needs to he, he needs to be more out there more. He needs more publicity. He's hungry. He's hungry. He needs more publicity. Tommy is hungry. He's hungry. Ah. Tommy all this story they give you. But are you not hungry too? Oh, why are they hungry? But they hungry past me. Family and no say they hungry past me. <laughs> ah, they hungry past me. <laughs> wow. They don't get money. Uh, every everyone will see what uh, they will take whatever you are saying as a joke because no. one family is more popular than you are. Family popular means say you get money. Oh, but they hungry. I mean, say family they hungry. Family you hungry. Right? Family, family is doing hungry. better. He's doing better. He's a musician who has hit songs all over. Hey, who they? Playing gigs and you are saying who they sing when they hungry. You, you, <laughs> don't have, you don't have any hit song. You no, have no worry, no worry. Hit song will come. Hit song will come. Eh, I will, by God's grace, we are okay. If I'm here, hungry. Because you are pained that he did not feature in your video. I know, I know even said it's safe. Uh uh. Life be pain. Pain is love according to Jaro. But if I'm here, they're hungry. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what, what is the song called once again? Uh -huh. Two o'clock. Hey, if you on my post, you complain about Famia. Famia. Uh, uh, on, on YouTube. Yeah, not just on YouTube or other post. Complain about him taking money. You understand? Oh, and you things. Mean people are complain. Yeah, they, them. you don't need to do it. So he needs to change. He needs to have some things in his life. He needs to correct. Yeah, and the case of him having anger issues that is everywhere it needs to be changed that's anger issues there are so many other secrets that i will just keep now for a later time over here in case you don't behave yourself so let the cat out of the bag why what, what what happened again no don't worry don't worry, don't worry. I'm a little thing. This is why you would like to be taking everything in. that one is for later matter don't worry don't worry. i will not say it now why well, you have some escapades be with him because of the most don't worry i no, will not you, what i mean is do you have some escapades with him no no no, no just matters when matters matters yes yes matters that you are involved in quote no 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 when i know so when i know what i know based on i did do my i did my own movement don't worry Movement sure. that you heard from here has been here and no, there. No, don't worry, it's sure for me. <laughs> 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 All right, so the song is called Three O'Clock, and uh, you can get it on his YouTube page. Uh, what is the name of your YouTube page? My YouTube page is XY Planet TV because that's XY Planet, Planet TV. TV. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that is where you can also uh, get the video of the song he's talking about with yes. Famiye. Yes, so yes. you also told me, we are wrapping up, you also told me you have one with Bisake there. Yes, um, yes, yes. How about him? Have you um, convinced him? Have you agreed on video terms? Yo, Bisake is my G, definitely. I'm, I'm sure you said the same thing about Famiye some time ago that oh. Famiye is my G. Hey, friends don't enemies, enemies don't friends. It's uh -huh. just, it's just. A, you know a dynamic situation where well, uh -huh. Mr. Kide is a it's my guy he's a humble boy he will uh -huh. not do any uh -huh. all these small small boys like family yeah, they, they do like this small money enter their hand they are jumping ah small money enter their head small, very small very small small small, small money like it's this small money that you also looking for oh no I don't you don't have now don't have to pay for us <laughs> <laughs> So maybe Mr. Kede, you've not agreed with him or what? Oh, Mr. Kede, no, we are talking. I've had good talk, management talks with the manager and stuff mm. like that. We're doing good. Mm. We're doing good. Mm. By God's grace. I see. Um, you told me you were dating a gang girl. Are you still dating her? Hey, as of now, I actually have a son. I have a son. With but, her? Yeah, she, but she, she's not gang she, she, like She's house. Sir. Why you stop with the gang girl? Oh, the gang girl. If you hear it, she tell me you go wrong. The gang girl say, she say, they say the this the relationship that I have in is not heading will not head anywhere. Mm -hmm. She said like I can get anybody mm -hmm. I want to get. Mm -hmm. You understand? She's not cool with the whole artist thing, you understand? She, she didn't want you to be a musician or what? She wants to live a normal life mm -hmm. per se, you understand? Mm -hmm. Normal life, normal things, normal people. Mm -hmm. There are people who are already, you know fashion like that mm. you understand so you keep moving forward oh, you I keep see. moving forward so now yeah you you stopped with with her and you went for a house again yeah and you have a son with i have a son yeah wow i have a son so <coughs> I, what it means that you're going to marry in ghana oh yeah of course now yeah, well, I, you plan to live in ghana for the rest of your life and for the rest of my life is still a journey it's still a story we're still mm. a writer 
You yeah, understand? Because I'm scared that one day you leave the house again, you have a son with run away tonight. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm filial. I I respect my relationship and whatever I do. It doesn't matter. Yeah. But where? Why? Why should I run? That's so cowardly. To run, where running to where for why? No, it's not about running as in running. You are going back to your country. Uh, if but I'm if if, if, if I am going like I want to, I'm thinking of settling down in my own country. Mm -hmm. I'll go with my family. Well, are you married to her now? Of course. Like uh, for real, for uh, real. Uh, we we'll finish on the ride. Don't worry, don't worry. You've Every, not finished. Everything is sure. Everything is sure. But the most, I oh, jig, 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 jig. Everything is sure. Don't worry. <laughs> are, are you living with her? Yeah, she lives with me, my oh, son. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. At West Pentex. Yeah, I will be sure, guys. So I live, you know, spreading the love. You know, so the love gets to you and it hits you and it hits you. Say, ah, amen. <laughs> Come on, Niger. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me, talk to you, Fiki Badman fans, and let's wrap up. Mm. Yes, yes, y'all, y'all, you know what it is. Call me Fiki Badman Ten, the only bad man. You understand? All my guys, all the bad people of force, we did for the bad gang. So you wanna roll with the bad gang? Just link up at F I W K Y B A W D M A N double K double D F I double K Y. Don't say you didn't go to school and you didn't learn this thing in your university. Oh. I mean, six people will get it. Yes. For us, I think you man, you understand? XY Planet TV is the brand, is the label. Uh, a lot of people are not sign us, not sign you. Show them. Show, 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 I tell uh, you. So, Picky Bad Man, uh, trust me, this guy is a serious talent. Yes, yes, I yeah. remember his first song I promoted on radio. What was that song called? Get Up! Get Up! Oh, Echo Su, I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. Echo Su, let me get up, I mean. Yeah, uh, get, uh, up, get Up! Get Up! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, now we, we teach all these new boys, so, uh, Kumasi boys. I will teach them. I'm really pay their transport they come from Kumasi. Which Kumasi boys are you talking about? Yeah, I'm talking about this one. This one that has dread that goes to his back, what's his name? Kim Paluta? No, but I'll tell you, it's a stubborn boy. That one, I don't think I will send him to Tadi. Which, 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 yeah. And so we used to support we support the Americans. They have them to Can you know, do what? You are paying his transport. So that they can get places to you know show their talent in in Accra. In Accra. Yes. Yes, uh, we support them. And now they are blown. No, they are, they are blown. They are still good boys. They are still good uh, so boys. So are, are they also returning that favor? No, no, don't worry. Some good you do, you leave it, you leave it, you leave mm. it. Yeah. But do you want them to return favor? No, no, no. They are, what I have blessed them with, they say, go and multiply. Yeah. So, yeah. all of them, they are multiplying. Multiply. Yes. <laughs> um, get up, do you have get up video? Get up video. Uh, it's still there. I don't know if your guys have got it, but it's, it's right you know, here. I mean, it's for, for those who are watching us, maybe I want them to confirm how good you are. If you have get up video, they can go watch it. Of course, you can watch get up video. I don't even know that one, but it's on YouTube. Just type in factor and get get up. You understand? Just like Gigi said, you want my own, you want, you want, you want, you want my old songs, buy my old album. Hey. <laughs> Vicky Badman is the name. It has been very interesting with yes, you yes, here yeah. on Sammy Flex TV, the real talk. And um, uh, he's my guy. I'm sure we will have a segment. I'll be doing something with him very soon on Sammy Flex TV. Yes! I know he wants to be in front of the camera. Of course. Let me think about something. You guys should watch out for it. Thanks to Digital Rasta, Karen, CBT Flex, and Yalapi G for doing the production of this particular segment called The Real Talk yes, here yes, on yeah. Sammy Flex TV. My name is Sammy Flex. Be part of the gig and let's do more. We out of here. Yeah, we out of here. I mean, flex, play, flex. Meet all the guests. <laughs>